hi guys welcome to my channel thomas creations and more today i'm gonna share with you um a project that i started making for myself and um after i had started it i said hey i should turn on this little camera so let me explain what i did well in um sitting down and reviewing my planner i realized that i needed a notebook um, for some upcoming uh, studies, um, upcoming events in uh, my Christian walk that um, I'm going to need somewhere where I can draw things down. And so I said, hey, I need a notebook. And my first thinking was, hey, um, you can go get a spiral notebook or a composition notebook um, because they are on sale, right? Because it's back to school and they're like 50 cents or whatever. But then um, I said, well, I was going to sit down and craft. And I said, hey, um, how come you just don't make yourself a little notebook, a journal, something? You know, we, I have supplies. So um, that's what I did. And after the fact, I started thinking I should have turned on the camera. So what I did was I went to my uh, little doors where I ran into some paper that i had purchased lord knows when <laughs> and they were off cuts there were 12 by 12s and some of them were 12 by 12s and one were cut and so what i did was i just grabbed them out of the drawer and i folded them in half and then i just got some um regular copy paper and i i folded them in half and i sandwiched them together and this is what i had they were different sizes so it didn't matter i put them together and i counted the pages I said okay this would be good for my project or my need right as far as the number of pages so then what i did was i took two of my brand new tools look guys i bought myself a metal ruler uh, i used to have one my daughter used uh, gave me hers from when she was in high school and you know her schooling but i can't find it anywhere so that's what I did. I just went and bought a new one. <laughs> Thankfully, they were inexpensive. And then I bought myself an X-Acto knife. And so then when I put them together, all I did was I took the shortest one, right? Put the ruler on top. I took the X-Acto knife and cut off the extra. And this mat right here is a self-healing mat. So that means that I can cut on top of it with the X-Acto knife and it heals itself. So I can use it for that. And that was awesome. And then what I did was I took it over to my sewing machine. I opened it up and I sewed right down the middle. And let me show you. Um, the next thing I did, I'll show you the sewing and all that. Um, I grabbed some lace that I had in my stash and I put it here. And actually it was double. Let me show you what I mean by that. It was like this. It's dope. Um, so, um, I liked it because it kind of covered up the spine. If you can tell right here, the black is where I sewed it. And, oops, let me show you that. And that's how I bind it, my book together. Kept it. What it does is uh, keep the book together. You could also do a pamphlet stitch or you can a uh, staple. But um, I have my grandmother's sewing machine that I've enjoying using. And um, I sewed it right down the middle and it was done. So I put the, the lace on there. And then what I did was um, whenever I have um, scraps um, or when I have time, actually, um, I take my scraps or paper that I like or paper that I get in Happy Mail and I make tags just so I can have blank tags uh, whenever I need them and I happen to have this one which I loved um, why because it had um, my favorite color this color and um, what I did was I cut out um, a little scripture it says create in me a clean heart oh God and renew a right spirit within me Psalm 5110 and I just cut that out and I put it on top of a tag. And I liked it because see where the gold foiling is? It look, they're little triangles. And to me it looks like little arrows kind of pointing this way. Like open up the book, right? So it's a tag. 
that I put like this and then I folded this over. And so that makes a little tuck spot for me. So let me take you into a little tour of the papers because I think they're so pretty. Um, the papers, I'm sorry. The papers were from Tuesday morning. It was called Serendipity by American Crafts. I don't even know if it's no uh, longer available. If it's still available, I should say. Because uh, I don't remember when I bought the paper. So this is the first one. I thought it was very pretty. And it, it turned out to be double-sided. There was only four sheets. And they were double-sided. So I, in between, I put regular copy paper. Oh, I was stuffing things in there that I said I wanted maybe to use in there. This is the middle of the signature. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pages, and then the cover. So six, seven times four, that gives me 28 pages front and back, including the front and the back covers. So um, now I needed stuff to decorate right inside. So like I said, I had, um, these are some cut aparts from the paper, right? And I just put them in there. I said, oh, I could use these. And then I started grabbing things out from my little bowl down there. Um, it's a bowl that um, I got for free at Lifeway at the store. Um, they were having a promotion at that time. You had to show them an email because I'm part of their email subscription. And they gave out this bowl. I think I've talked about it before. If not, I like to talk about it. It says, His Love Endures Forever. It has a little polka dot in yellow. And I love, love, love it. I actually have two. Because when I went to the store, I um, had an email and um, unbeknownst to me, my husband had an email as well, and he got me another one, and at a later date, he gave it to me. So I have two, and you would think that it doesn't hold a lot, but it sure does. Let me show you. And there's still room. I stuff them full. And so what I do is I put things in there that I get in Happy Mail or things that I want to use because uh, I find that um, if I have stuff in drawers and put away in a nice little compartment somewhere, it's good, it's nice and organized, but I won't use it. So um, I uh, every now and then I will, I will put it in the bowl and I find that I will take it out and use it. So today I'm going to show you how... To decorate tags with very minimal supplies so I'm gonna leave that there and let's get started oh my gosh okay so what I started with is a tag remember I tell you or I just told you that I keep uh, tags in the little bowl and also put away um, but they're already pre-made tags that I could um, use at any time. Oh, I kind of like that. Hmm. So, today I'm going to show you how to decorate some tags. Um, I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six with this one that I'm, I plan on putting inside of my journal. Oh, I forgot to mention that the corners, what I did was I took my Creative Memories uh, corner rounder and I corner rounded the edges. I think it gives it a different look, a finished look. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with a tag. So, um, right, you start off with a blank tag, or in my case, a blank tag. And I said, well, I thought I would turn on the, the video and we can talk about simple ways to decorate your tag. What I used was all that little piece, remember I told you that I trimmed off of the X-Acto knife? Well, I had paper scraps like this one, right? And that's what I use to do. That I'm. That's what I'm going to use to decorate. Sorry, as you could tell. Uh, one of those days. Anyway, so what I did was I just took a piece of paper. See the paper? 
and I put it to the top and I cut it at the bottom. Then I'm going to take another one, a little scripture that I cut out that I like. This one says, Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. And what I'm going to do with this one, I can put it here, I can put it in the middle, I can put it on the top. But I'm going to choose to put it right there. And there's a lovely tag. Now, the beauty of this paper is, guess what? It was double-sided, right? So, take a look at that. Um, the way it looks but then you can choose to do the other side and you can put it on top in the middle on the bottom and you get a different look and it's the same piece of paper meaning that if you wanted to you could use if it was longer and you had enough you could use one side this one and one side the other and guess what you have two different tags right now how can you change up this look with whatever you put in the middle oh uh, this one's too big but how about something you fussy cut out look how about little um words that you have that you cut out from magazines or that you have how about if you have circle uh punches from your punches or from your die cuts and then you put a sticker on there so that's how quick and easy it is to decorate a tag so I am gonna go ahead and glue that down and I thought I would show you how to make them because sometimes you know like oh, what do I do what, what do I know uh, make um, I don't know if you're a beginner even if if you've been crafting for a long time like myself sometimes I I, I find myself saying that oh, what am I gonna do I need to decorate it I want a tag but you know I want something different but guess what I don't want to sit here forever and then you know I have a hard time sitting so I have to sit, I have to get up, I have to sit, I have to get up, so you know, it's, for me anyways, is not um, long projects are not good. So I'm going to put it in the bottom because I like that. And again, I'm using my Tombow Mono Glue. I love this glue. I'm hoping to be able to bring you a review of, um, of a glue that... Um, that I saw on Instagram. I reached out to them. I'm hoping to do a review for them. Stay tuned to my channel for that. So, one tag is done, and guess what? Matches. And it's the same uh, script, font, I should say, and it matches. So, I'm going to put that there. The next one I did, or the idea I have, is again. the tag this was a cut apart from the paper it was on it this was on there but I didn't like the paper this paper this side because it was too busy and that's the only one it was and the blue I don't have any blue so I'm going to use the pink side what I'm doing is putting my glue in my I, I know I'm off camera <clears throat> so I'm just gonna put that down I found this one well let me show you here this was a piece left over from here see so instead of using this side well I could use that side also here but I thought there was too much pink overtones so I'm going to um, take another piece of that scripture and put it on top of the green the blue and put it like this and so that's what I'm going to do is the squares mainly that I'm using and yet I haven't bought anything new I'm using what I have and guess what I'm getting rid of my scraps because 
these were scraps from what I was that I had left over when I cut that other strip. Um, the scripture, somebody wants to know, you can write it or design it on your computer. I didn't have a comp I don't have a computer at the moment. Um, I will take a donation if anybody out there has the ability to do that and wants to uh, donate a computer to me. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw it out there. <laughs> hey, at least I made you laugh, right? Um, now, this one says, Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. Psalm 55, 22. And on the top, I'm going to put, Peace be with you, because it says to cast my cares, right, on the Lord and he will sustain me. So, hey, peace, peace be with you. Remember, he's got gotcha. you. So, I like that and I put it here. Um, like I said, you can end up design them on your computer, type out your scripture that you like. Uh, but since I don't have a computer, um, all I did was I searched, um, Googled scripture or whatever, and I just, um, downloaded it. I don't remember where I was, you know, how, when you go online, you go everywhere you end up in China. So I found them and I just cut them to whatever size around the little square. I mean around the scripture and I'm using that to decorate so this is another tag and all I you all I'm using is cardstock and the scraps of paper and um, the scripture that I found online and I did have these so I have another one and I really really like this tag the background the ribbon kind of deal and so I did it again, or I'm going to do it again. And like I tell you, this is double-sided, but I liked the pink. I know, shocking. I, I picked the hot pink. Hot pink is another one of my colors that I like. I like hot pink, and I like this mint. Not mint. I don't know. A minty turquoise? I don't know if that's a color, but that's what, how I would describe it. I picked the hot pink over that teal. So that's down. I got a die cut that I've had um, sitting in my drawers and I had just put them there and um, I like the way it looked. This is a two inch glitter cardstock um, circle and this was a circle for my punch. I believe it's a one and a half. Yep, one and a half. A circle punch put a sticker on top of that and now layered up is going to look wonderful at least in my opinion so now I've added stickers die cuts whatever I've had in my stash in my stash for a newbie out there and you're like what is a stash my supplies that's what stash is <clears throat> A die cut you have to have a die cutter you can sometimes you can order them you can buy them from people um, and this was sticker from Hobby Lobby it has scripture on it this one says trust trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs 3 5 <clears throat> now on this one don't remember I think I don't have a problem with the Tombow model. Sometimes when you have glitter uh, cardstock, like, and it's chunky, the glitter, um, some, yeah, no, I don't have a problem with this glue. There's some glues um, that won't stick, adhere to the glitter, um, but no, this one does. I think it was the tacky that didn't. I'll find out in a little bit. It might be this one. We'll find out. Now let me What's going on there? Oh it had air. I was squeezing and no glue was coming up. Mm-hmm. It is this glue. Okay. I know there's one that don't like it. See how it's curling up? 
and that is okay. I'll just grab my Eileen. Hold on. Eileen's type of glue. And I think this will work. Hold that down for a while. There's another tag. Isn't it pretty? I like the sparkly. <clears throat> Another tag that I'm going to do with you is I just cut a rectangle. Instead of going the long ways, I went across <coughs> with this side. This is the double side of this one. Oh, I could have used this one. That's a beautiful flower. However, I am going to lay, I'm going to lay this on top. It says I will walk by faith even when I cannot see. But, um... I don't want my tags to look the same and I don't want to use the same paper over and over. You can if you want, but I choose not to. So I'm going to be using this side. And uh, when you work with double sided paper, that is the plus side of when you're going to make embellishments, tags, uh, when you're going to decorate your projects because since you have those double sided you um you have that option you know you're using the same paper and um you get different looks and everything will look cohesive meaning it will it will flow it matches if you will if you want to use another word about that the road in front of our house today is very busy with um there we go so there's another tag very busy with um traffic which is weird because we're supposed to stay at home we have a curfew of 10 o'clock not being out in the streets this is another um <clears throat> paper that's used in here the back is this one but i didn't want this one i think it was too clashy so i'm going to use this side up and it's the same concept as the one that I've just done before, but instead of a rectangle, it's a square. And I'll show you when I turn it around. And I love the Tombow Monogu because it grabs really fast. I saw this little edge that I didn't think you want. The reason I put my glue down the way I am on the little vase is because the air bubble. Have you ever seen a um, tutorial? Um, and the person trying to glue is going like this. That's because, if you can see there, there's air bubbles, right? And so you have to wait until it goes down so you're there shaking the bottle. And so I've found that if I put it in that little vase, the bowl will be on top. I just grab it off. And what I do is, at least for this glue, it doesn't work with all of them. Depends how thick your glue is and how big your tip is. But with this one, it does work. What I do is unscrew it and I um, throw the top in the little vase and I put it upside down. So when I take it out of there, it's ready to go. And uh, this, I bought it an antique shop, and it's actually a crystal bed, and it is weighty. It's very weighty on the bottom, and it um, helps the vase sit on my table. I had another clear little vase that I used to use before, but it would always tip over because it wasn't heavy, and that's perfect. Here, I took a die cut, and I just put a sticker. It says, Pray More, Wear a Vest. And so that's why I put it in there. Now I grab the glue and I just, uh, I'm ready to use it. I don't have to be shaking it. 
And I do that also with that other glue, which is fabric tech, by the way, that I put in the bottom. So there's another one. It was the same concept as this one, but this is rectangle, and this is square, and it's longer. <clears throat> one more. And what I did was I took a piece of this one that I had left over, and I just cut out a little triangle. And the reasoning behind that is because I want to have a pocket here. Well, a pocket. It's going to be a pocket within a pocket. I mean a tag with a pocket. So here I'm only going to glue two sides down, which is this one and this one. And I'm not putting lots of glue, I'm just really using the tip to smear it. I think it was this way. Pour it in the comp, if I was my father. I guess I've, I've said before, it's a regular household, there's no way. <laughs> okay. And here I just had a little die cut and I put stickers that says glory to God. I'm going to put that on there. Decorated. And like I've said before, when it's a project for me, the project is never finished because if I get a sticker or a bling or an idea or whatever, I will pull it out and start decorating and mark. And you know, I kind of like this tech because it matched from the front from the beginning. Um, think you're going to be just perfect. You're beautiful just the way you are. <laughs> so I hope you're learning little techniques to decorate your tags, your projects, um, using just, you know, whatever you have in your, in, of your craft supplies. Now here I'm putting it kind of at the top. Reason being is when I put it in this pocket, I want you to be able, or me, or whoever, to see the scripture. So I um, hope that you learn a little something, a little something something <laughs> from this video on how you can decorate tags um, just using... Um, tag cutouts <clears throat> um, it's the base of a cardstock uh, that I cut out into tag shapes and then all this is are the scraps that I cut off from here um, some stickers die cuts die cut sticker um, and this is just a scripture that I found online and that I just cut up um, some of them had like decorations like these, but I didn't want the decoration. It was too big, see, for what I wanted it for. So I cut just out. I cut the scripture out. Um, and some of them I found online, and I did this, and I just um, cut it to the size that I needed it. Um, and as you can see, um, they're easy. They're simple. Now. These tags are not done, like I said, whenever it's mine, uh, my project, it's never done. Like, see, I just grabbed something from there. Um, you can put this, a little paper clip, and now it becomes like a little, a way to add more stuff to it. You can add stuff to the back, um, and it adds a little ribbon. You can add ribbon um, at the top. You can add a little sticker, I mean, a tab. You can do so many things, like... See, I'm, I'm just here, and I saw that on my desk. You know what? I kind of like that. I saw that on my desk. It's a 
It's a die cut somebody had sent me. Mm, I'm trying to remember who. I think it was my friend Edna. If I remember right. Hi Edna, if you're watching. Thank you so much for the little... The little, um... Knickknacks you send me. <coughs> she always sends me like a little encouraging note or just things like that that we do back and forth. I think she's the one that sent it to me. Oh no. There we go. So see now I added another one. <laughs> another thing. And it's just because it was sitting there. But um I have that. And um I hope you like it. And guess what? It all matches. It's matchy matchy. Because it's the same papers. Look. Any, anywhere that I decide to put them in, for example, I'm going to tuck that in. It will match. I'm going to tuck this in here. It's going to match because they're all from the same collection of paper. And um, except for this one. This one wasn't from the collection, but it has the same color. Um, also, I've been walking you through my process and my other videos. Like, how do you get stuff to match? You look at what you're doing and you pull from it. So, see the color? Look at the color. You can always use white. You can always use silver. You can always use black. No matter what you're doing. So, I like this one. It's the same color. It has white. It has gold. It works. Same thing with here. It's not the same teal, but it's within the same color family. It works. You have flowers. The sticker had a flower. Um, the colors look pink, yellow, and blue. Uh, the mint color, turquoise color. That was in the sticker. Uh, brown, it's a, it's a neutral. This one has silver um, things, but it's white. The, the writing or the, <clears throat> the font, this one's purple. Uh, there's a purple color here. Uh, this one kind of looks gold. And then you have black, which you can use for everything. Now let me open up the other pages so you can see that. All of them will match. No matter where you put them. So, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial. Um, <clears throat> let me know in the comment box um, which idea you liked, if you learned something. And if you ever make a project that I inspired you, please um, tag me on it or put, um, you know, at Thermos Creations and more or put it put your link in one of my videos and I will watch it because um, that means that you're learning from me that means that um, what I do is inspiring others just like the many 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 YouTube videos have inspired me and many people 